Welcome back everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be going over how to set up our AR app inside of Unity to work with Android. And then after that, we're going to go over how to actually build this to an Android device. So first of all, what we want to do is change our build platform to Android. Because right now, as you can see here at the top, it is PC, Mac, and Linux standalone. We want to switch this platform over to Android. So let's go File, Build Settings, and make sure that you do have the Android build platform um, installed. We went over this over in the previous lesson of how to actually set this up, how to install it into your version of Unity. So select that, then just click on the Switch Platform button right here shouldn't take too long and after that is done let's also add our current scene into the scenes in build list right here as this is going to be all the scenes that we are going to be able to run inside of our app so we'll click on add open scenes and there we go we've got our scene added to the build right here okay uh, we can then click on player settings and this will open up the player settings window right here with a bunch of things that we can change uh, first of all, we can change our product name, and this is what the name of the app is going to be. The little icon, this is what the app is going to be called. So we could just call this one our AR Foundation Test. It's really up to you, you can call this whatever you want. Um, the company name, that's not really too important. If you do have a company name you wish to put there, then you can, but I'm going to keep it like that for now. Um, then down here, what we're going to do is change a few things as well. Let's open up other settings, and what we want to enable is Auto Graphics API here. Um, we then want to go down to where it says package name and in here what we want to do is basically change this to our unique identifier. Now a package name for Android is basically a way for the device to uniquely identify your app. And the format for this is normally com dot your company name dot your product name. Now this doesn't have to be strict, it's not going to check to see if your company name is really that or anything. Uh, this can really be whatever you want. So here I'm going to go com dot zemba dot intro to AR foundation. Okay, there we go. Um, version, we can keep the same, but something we do have to change that is actually a requirement with AR foundation is to change the minimum API level right here. We could change it from the default 4.1 jelly bean, and we got to change it to API level 24, which is Android 7.0. So we'll change it to that there. And apart from that, we really don't need to change anything else. You might see that down here in XR settings, there is this thing called AR Core Supported. Um, we don't actually have to enable this, as this is really only needed if you are building a um, app that is just using AR Core. Since we're using AR Foundation, uh, we don't have to do this. But what we do have to do is click on XR right here, and click Create, and just save it. Um, really, anyway, we can just save it here in our Assets folder, and change Requirement to Optional. This is just something we have to set up for AR Core. And apart from that, we are pretty much done. Um, we've set up everything we need here. If you do want to, you can go to resolution and presentation and change if we are allowed to go portrait mode, landscape, portrait upside down, or landscape right. Uh, you can change those if you wish, if you only want it to be played in landscape mode. Splash, Im splash image, this is just what appears on the screen when we start up, as well as a Unity logo. So you can add your own logos here if you wish. And publishing set settings, this is really just for if you're publishing it to the Play Store, so we don't really need to look at that for now. And yeah, that's really all we need to do, so let's click on the X right here. But we can't click Build and Run just yet, and the reason why is because we need to set up our device first of all to actually work inside of, um, to actually set up our device so we can actually use it with Unity, so we can actually build projects and transfer the files over to our device, because by default that is not allowed. So let's go over to our Android device right now, and I'll show you how to enable developer options. Okay, so what you want to do is, you first of all want to go to your settings on your mobile device. Then, you want to scroll right down to the bottom to About Phone. And then in here, we want to click on Software Information. In here, what we want to do then, is just tap on our build number here seven times. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what this does is we then have to enter in our current pin. And then developer mode has been enabled. So we can go back, back to our settings. And if we scroll right down to the bottom, you'll see that we now have developer options enabled. We can open that up. And in here, what we want to do is scroll down to USB debugging here. We want to enable that. And what this will allow us to do 
is connect our device up to our computer and it'll allow us to build Unity games uh, directly to our mobile and add that as an app. Uh, that's pretty much all we have to do on our phone. Now all we need to do is connect our device to our computer. Okay, so after you've done that, we should go back to Unity here and you just want to find where it says run device. You want to click refresh and if you open this up now, you should see that you have your Android device uh, right here so we can select that and then we can hit build and run you can choose location to save this uh, APK. I'm just going to save it here in our intro to AR folder. Um, now the name of this doesn't really matter as this is just the name of the file, not the name of the actual app. So I'm just going to call this one our app right here. Hit save and then it is going to start to build to our device. Make sure your device is plugged into your computer. Um, and once that is finished, it should then automatically pop up on the screen and you should be able to test it out. In the next lesson, we're going to be going over the exact same sort of thing, but with uh, iOS devices and how to set it up for that. So if you don't have an iOS device, you can just skip over that lesson. But if you do, it's recommended that you do watch that lesson as there are many steps that, are, that do differ from building to Android. So we do need to explain them when we're over there. Apart from that though, I'll see you all then in the next lesson.